Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we'll see how we can restore a previous version of the items in the SharePoint list. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's see how we can do that. Okay friends, so now we are on our SharePoint admin center and let's randomly pick one site. I will open the site which is flyhub in my new tab all right i will go to site contents and in site contents i have created one list with the name of flight details uh, let's open this all right so here in this list i have flight details of you know the passengers and uh, here we have the passenger name airline name start location and location and the arrival time now for the passenger brigade, I remember I made some changes, but I don't know what changes I made. So now I want to restore a previous version of this particular uh, item in this list. So to restore the previous version, we can simply click on these three dots. And here we have the option of version history. So I will open this. So as you can see, uh, there are a few uh, versions of this particular item. Initially, you can see these entries were entered. Then uh, again, I made a changes uh, in the end location of this passenger. Now I want to restore this particular item. And instead of, you know, doing the manual changes, I can so I can restore this particular version as well. So for restoring that, I can click on this, uh, you know, drop down menu. Here we get the three options. Either we can view, restore or delete. So first of all, I will click on view. And here you can see the title and the passenger name, airline name, start location, end location. It will give you, you know, the entire entries which is there on this particular item. So from here you can, you will get the option to restore the item version. However, I will close this. Click on three dots. Again, I will click on version history. You, I will click on this drop down menu. I will simply click on restore. So it will pop up your message. You are about to replace the current version with the selected versions. So we'll click on OK. And look at this. The new version is created for this particular item in the list. And now I will click close this. And you can see now again, the end location is back to London. Earlier it was Thailand. So friends, that's how we can uh, restore the previous version of the item in the SharePoint list. Now, let me show you one more thing. Like if you will click on this gear icon here, you will get the option of list settings. So I will click on this. Now we'll click on version settings. Make sure every time if you're working on the list or there are some files and you want to trace the versions and like who has made the changes on the item of that particular list or that specific file. So make sure every time you select this option like create a version each time you edit an item in the list. If it is select to no, then you won't be able to, you know, see the versions of the history and you won't be able to restore any item of the particular list. So make sure always it's set to yes. So we get the first option of uh, like content approval. We can specify whether the new items or the changes to the existing item should remain in the draft state until it has been approved. So we can set this kind of a, you know, the approval so if i will select on yes as i am the site admin i will be getting notified like you want to approve this change or not so as of now i have set it to no now the second option is the same which i have already informed you like we can specify whether the version should be created when any user you know try to edit that item in the list or not so we have selected it yes earlier it was by default it was you know selected to no but now when you will create a new list it will be automatically set to yes then here is the option of uh, like if you want to keep the how many number of versions you want to keep so it basically uh, keeps up to the version from 1 to uh, 50000 version it can create so you can enter it yourself like you can set it to 500 or any number up to it's up to you now there is one more option of draft item security like we can uh, draft any minor versions or item which have not been approved 
So as of now, this option is gray out because we haven't selected because we have set no to the content approval. Now we'll click on OK. So friends, that's how we can restore the previous version of the item in the SharePoint list. That's conclude our video demonstration. For more informative videos, you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos. I will see you guys in next video.